again everybody and welcome to the coffee talk this isn't a coffee stain this is actually pigment that i can't get out of my scrubs brand new scrubs today right uh, so the topic today is uh why you were asked if you've had a tattoo done when you go for a ct scan or an mri so that's the subject of today's coffee talk um and it is something that um people oftentimes ring me to know what type of pigments were used so if you were asked a question like this um, by your radiographer in the uh, radiography department, um, if you've had a tattoo before, and if you say yes, they really are referring to body tattoos, and it depends on the part of your body that is being scanned by CT or MRI. Um, and by all means, if you're having a brain scan or a scan of your face or upper thorax, um, please reach out to me um, so that I can forward you on the MSDS. MSDS is the ingredients used in the pigments that we used for you. Um, and we will send that on to you so that you can uh, uh, identify it with your uh, sonographer or your CT scanner radiographer. Um, so here's the deal um, in relation to CT scans, MRIs and uh, scan of your upper body. So when I did my training um, over 11 years ago now, um, it was in and still is in the consent form um, that on page two, here's our consent form, and it's on page two, just to remind you, it's on the second paragraph down. I'm going to take a screenshot and show it to you here, that if you go for a, I'll read it out to you here, um, I understand that in the event of an MRI or CAT scan, I need to inform my physician or technician that I've had permanent cosmetic procedure as pulling, tingling and burning sensation can occur during these tests. Um, and I understand that having a permanent cosmetic procedure may restrict my ability to donate blood for one year. Okay, so that is a paragraph that is still in our consent form. Um, and you signed it and you are declaring that you read it because <laughs> it's sent out to you in advance. So, um, yeah, that's the first thing. Okay, so I never took that out of our consent form because even though I use five pigment brands here, I have the MSDS of all of those. And in this, particularly in the last five years, the um, MSDS for the five, four of the brands that I use do not have um, any metals in them. Therefore, um, it wouldn't affect my clients. Um, and, uh, but however, the sonographer or the radiographer doesn't know that. Um, and if you're having a CT of your upper thorax and things, obviously it's a question that they have to ask. And their thing is that if you have had a tattoo done within the last three months that you really can't have your, um, X-ray or CT scan or MRI done. And that's them being safe. And of course it is. So I stopped using one of the brands that uh, I used to use uh, because it had metals in it and it was a brand that I didn't particularly like anyway so I concentrated on using my other four brands um, which don't have metals in them and uh, that's the first thing. Secondly, um, but your radiographer doesn't know that so I'm more than happy to forward what pigment was used with yours because on our page four of our consent form I wrote down all of the pigments that I used and what brands I used. So it's a no problem in sending you on the MSDS for your radiographer um, uh, if needs be. And further to that, um, most of my pigments used to come from the States or Canada anyway, um, and they have a different legislation when it actually comes to tattoo inks. Um, we don't use inks, we use pigments here. But um, the EU reach um, in January just gone, they changed a lot of the of legislation in relation to um, pigments that were used in tattoos, and therefore um, our pigment brands have been uh, formulated and um, adjusted to meet the EU standards. But they didn't have metals in them anyway. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So, apparently, um, if you had um, a cheaper pigment brand 
um, in, used in a tattoo, you can feel this pulling, burning and sensation in the tattoo when you're having your MRI done. Um, and to be aware of that. So we've uh, been prudent in telling you um, that um, there's the possibility of um, the radiographer asking you about the tattoo. We have no problem in uh, sending the MSDS and, um, and if you are asked by your radiographer if you've had a tattoo, you're better off being honest because if you are having a CT of your brain um, and, and you feel a pulling and a tingling sensation in your eyebrows, you could be very alarmed. So they're executing due diligence. We are also executing due diligence, even though I haven't used pigment with metals in it for the last, um, certainly for the last five years. But people who had it done prior to that, uh, maybe years six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, um, the pigments that we use, because it was the only ones that we had back then, um, would have had a small amount of metals in them. And, um, but they're not in the last three months, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't really apply. So there you are. So to round this up, when you come to us and uh, having booked uh, in step two, your consent form is sent out to you in advance. Uh, it's a four page documentation. Um, and that's the first thing. Um, so you sign it to say that you have read it. And clients who come for a consultation, we usually fill out this form um, at consultation time. But when you come to have the treatment done, you are given ample time inside in the waiting room in order to uh, read it and sign it um, while your eyebrows are numbing up. So, um, yeah, so, you know, you have been told and, yeah, it is a risk. We have executed due diligence and so have the radiographers. And everything is usually fine. It's just that you need to know it. Um, um, some people had reached out in the last couple of months to say, oh my God, my radiographer asked me to know if I had a tattoo. And, and I told him yes. And they said, oh, well, maybe we can't. Do you? So the way of getting around that is getting onto us. We'll pull your file and uh, identify what pigment was used and send it on to you. Now, don't be ringing us on the day um, to say, oh, can you pull it for me? The next five minutes our clinics are crazy busy so you need to know in advance and um, and like when you make an inquiry with us it's part of the information pack that's sent out as well so um yeah you know we've told you um and it's easy to get around this so yeah uh there you are i hope that helps does it is there anything else you want to know all right i'm starting work in the next 10 minutes or so